Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about people that are disliking other people's videos and generally like haters, <laughs> I'll say it like that. And um, I have one or two haters following me uh, throughout my entire social media for the last, I think, 10 years. <laughs> And I know who these people are because uh, it requires only a little bit of investigation, you know, common sense, you can figure out who these people are. And <laughs> it's, it's, it's been funny because these people are still uh, acting as they were my friends on Facebook and, you know, they, they're keeping me close so they can every time when I publish something just like that. <laughs> and I've been thinking about that, like, I'm honestly, I am not big on uh, feeling like, you know, horrible when I get this life on video. You know, you get it. Like, uh, some people, <laughs> honestly, let, let's first talk about the fucking dislike button on YouTube. Uh, my opinion is that that's kind of destructive negative energy. I know it serves as a YouTube algorithm, but it shouldn't be there. You know, like, if something is not your cup of tea, rather than disliking it, uh, just don't watch it. The same with music. Why would you dislike a video of, of, of certain band or whatever? Even though that is not your cup of tea, you know, uh, I, I would honestly dislike something and I don't think I ever disliked anything on YouTube in my life. Uh, it would have to be horrible. And something like that, you honestly, you won't find this on YouTube at all in the first place. So, in the beginning, I don't even understand the meaning of dislike button. It's like, why are you there? <laughs> to say that some content is not good. Maybe it's not good to you, but maybe it's good for someone else. But I think uh, what a lot of people nowadays use the dislike button for is just to express their own negativity that they already have in themselves. And then they're looking for a place where they're just gonna, you know, put it on. And I don't know if, you, if you've ever read or uh, watched a video about the millennial uh, generation. I am millennial as well. And uh, there's a lot of people in my generation that are completely bitter and angry with the world. And fair enough, looking at my life, uh, looking at uh, my friend's life, you know, it's been very tough for us. It, it's been much harder than, you know, for our parents. We've been promised a life that we never achieved and it's it's reasonable that we're uh, bitter but I think it's completely wrong if we start going against each other and that is precisely what is happening. So I have these few people that have been <laughs> following me around disliking everything I do, you know, like it's like they want to say I fucking hate you as a person and I'm like yeah that's all right, you know, can, can you please tell that to my face and then we can just, you know, we can finish this off. Why do you feel like you need to constantly uh, tell me that you're not happy with something I do? Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, look at my face. I don't fucking care. Like, I would be doing things in my life, even if the whole world is against it. And it was at certain points, honestly. But I would still be doing it, you know. There is no force in this planet. No dislike, nothing that would stop me from doing things that I want to do. Only a gun in my face and a bullet in my brain. So just stop. You know, it's it's not funny anymore. You know, find find something that you can do in your life. You know, some hobby, something. You know, try suing things. Why do you have this constant urge to show me that you don't like what I'm doing? Like. It's like, I don't understand it, honestly. I might, you know, check something on Facebook and say, like, I don't know, I see an ad for the fucking saying that dairy is healthy for me. I don't agree, but I'm not gonna put this like on it, you know, because I don't care, you know, like, I am picking my own shit and whatever you do for yourself, it's fine, but you don't need to discourage other people in doing something. You can speak your mind, you can say what you want, it's... It's a free world, I hope still, it is. And you can speak your mind, you can say what you want, and the world is full of information, it's full of content. 
So just like, I don't understand people to go for something that is not their cup of tea, just to dislike it, instead of wasting or using that time on something that they actually find intriguing and nice. It's like, what is wrong with this planet? Um, honestly, <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I can't even find the content that I'm not into because I liked so many Facebook groups and I have really good friends that are, you know, sharing my ideals. I have half of the cat chateau. And every time when I turn on the social media, when I turn on the YouTube, like the social media and YouTube is already picking the things of my interest. And I could imagine if you're a person, like if you're a disliker, if you're a person that is constantly looking for things where they can express their anger with the rest of the world, then, you know, you get more of that. It's simple, it's simple as that. So I, I honestly, I don't get it. And there are certain things that, like, nobody would dislike. It's like, I would never dislike someone, uh, someone's, like, a personal story about their suffering. Like, it's not... It's like saying, oh yeah, I actually really feel good about your suffering. But I've seen videos on YouTube where people open their hearts and talk about their deepest feelings and some prick comes and dislikes it. It's... why? Why? It's, you know, like, people that already decided to open up and show to the world, I don't think they care, you know? It's, they didn't do it for likes, they didn't do it for views. Like, honestly, I am not doing music or I'm not doing these videos for views, I'm doing it because it feels good to do it. Like, being seen by other people, being liked by other people, like, uh, getting text messages or whatever, like, uh, saying, oh, I love your voice, or I love this story, what you said, oh, I agree with this. It's, it is like a cream on the top. But it's not why someone starts doing YouTube or whatever in life. You know, if you want to make everybody happy, sell ice cream. <laughs> Don't make YouTube videos, you know, like, because on every video, on every single fucking video, at some point you will have at least one dislike. It is what it is. I still don't understand why people do it. Like, I wouldn't, but... Uh, other people kind of feel the need to. Thinking about the people that constantly dislike my videos, like, if you dislike my music, right, are you aware that I spent over 10 years investing in my music career, going to university and studying music before I fucking actually got enough money here in Ireland to get a decent equipment, to be able to record my voice. Do you know last month I spent around 800 euro on recording music? If you're jealous, why don't you do the same? And if you hate my voice, please just stop fucking watching. You know, it's it's not cool. It's not cool. It's like, I'm not gonna delete you, I'm not gonna stop you from doing this. If this is the maximum you can do, if this is the place where you find the most fulfillment in your life, by hating me, and well, I hope at least I'm making your life good, <laughs> because obviously nothing else can. I worked my ass. I worked my ass to get where I am. I worked my ass to prove myself. In many ways, you know, how, how easy it is to prove yourself with hair like this, you know, to get a position of the manager. Like, you, you think that people are gonna give that to you if you don't prove yourself. Like, nothing that I have in my life has fallen from the sky for me to have it, you know. Um, that's why I'm looking at other people, the things they do. I know how much effort is invested in that, because I know how it feels like to start from nothing, to start from scratch, you know. I've been discouraged so many times in my life that if I would have a cent for every time someone discouraged me, I would be fucking rich. And if you think, that these things didn't hurt me. They did. They, they were like tripping stones on my way. Sometimes I couldn't even do something for years because I felt so fucked up because I thought, Jesus, people hate me. You know, like some people that I really cared for, 
they didn't want me in their lives anymore. Like, I survived that as well. It did change me, like, but I am so happy that these things didn't change me into a bitter person. And that's the thing that I'm fear of the most. If I don't do certain things in my life, if I don't achieve certain things in my life, that I will be a bitter old woman. And that's not what I want to be. I want to, if I have kids, if I don't, I want to be an example to other people to live fulfilled life, to be happy and to do the best they can. So fucking stop disliking other people's videos and focus on your life. You know, focus on why do you hate other people? Why do you don't agree with something? If you don't agree with something, do something differently, you know, prove the world that something can be done differently. Um, it's easiest to sit down in your chair in front of your computer, hiding from the world and being like, <laughs> I just disliked someone's video. What does that even mean? I'm sorry, but that is sad. It is sad in this world with so many opportunities, there's so many things that you can do in your life that you choose to be that person behind the computer screen hating people. If you don't agree with something, don't watch it. Do different, live differently, make a stand. I don't agree with cutting the Borneo rainforest uh, in order to uh, plant the palm uh, trees and destroying the habitat of uh, orangutans. So I don't buy palm oil products. That is my stand. I'm not gonna go and dislike videos of the, I don't know, uh, companies that use the palm oil. I'm just gonna abolish them, you know. And if you want to dislike something, if you want to fight against something, this is the best thing you can do. So my dear hater, my dear disliker, um, I hope, I hope maybe I changed your mind, but I probably didn't. Never mind. I wanted to speak my mind on this subject and uh, I wanted to tell you this in your face. And I don't know, maybe we're gonna be friends <laughs> for another 20 years uh, of you disliking me, but you know, that's not gonna stop me. It won't, ever. Because you know what? I don't give a fuck. Thank you guys for watching and please do consider becoming my Patreon. I will revise my entire Patreon account so I will have a lot of surprises there, uh, a lot of awards. I am preparing a lot of things. Uh, I will keep you updated on the community anyways. And if you did like this video and if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, so please do like the video and become my subscriber my liker <laughs> or disliker whatever <laughs> just subscribe <laughs> anyways guys i'll see you soon